this is the beginning of part 3 of the video about .NET Nuke automated install in GoDaddy. Okay, now I'm back once again, and here's the good news. We have successfully installed, the message has changed to successfully installed on dnntutorial.com. So, .NET is now installed. The good thing as well is that you don't need to keep checking this URL to see if it's done or not. Actually, I have received via email uh, a notification that says that the application has been installed correctly. So, you can just wait for an email and you're gonna get that. Now, next thing that we have to do is we have to go to the URL and see how, how it's behaving there, how it's working there. Let's go there. I'm just gonna right click this guy here. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna open in a new tab. Let's see if this will take much or not. Let's wait a little bit. So now I'm actually prompt with a, with a .NET installation wizard now. So I'm just gonna go through it as I would do it normally in any .NET install. I'm gonna go to typical, click next. Your site passed permission check, that's great. Usually that's a problem that people face with uh, GoDaddy is that the permission is not set properly. Let's click next. As you can see at the top, it is installed in a subfolder, in a folder called uh, DNN. Now, here is the database, the server, the database, everything is pre-populated for you, so you don't need to worry too much. Now, the place that you need to uh, enter something is the password, which I hope that you have set up one, and you have copied that aside, so you can paste it right here. I'm pasting the password. Again, this was set up way back in at the very beginning when we were starting to set up our .NET Hook website. Now, let's just click next. It will go and install the scripts. Let's wait a little bit on that. Okay, it's progressing. Let's wait a little bit more. It's taking a bit of time. Okay, so it's almost done. I have to pause the video a little bit because it was really taking a bit of time. It should be almost there as we are already on version 562. Okay, installation of database complete. Perfect, let's click next. Now it's gonna ask me again for the host and admin uh, users as well. Not sure why it asks again, but any, anyway, I will have to enter that. I'm gonna keep host and admin, so here's host. Password. I'm gonna keep my email address. I'm, not, I'm gonna ignore SMTP server settings because this will be pre-populated by, by GoDaddy automatically. So I'm gonna just hit next. First time that I try to do, that I test this in GoDaddy, this particular step took quite a little bit of time. So I'm just gonna pause while I wait. Okay, so now after waiting about two to three minutes, Finally, the the wizard has progressed, so I'm gonna set up the admin account. Password. Again, it's asking me that again. I'm gonna keep this as is. I'm gonna click next. And hopefully this step will not take that long. But up until now, we didn't really have any errors. So I'm glad about that. Okay, so now we have we have finished the wizard and I'm gonna click start building your new site. Let's see if we're gonna get the, the DNN site. Let's wait a little bit. Okay, so here's a site that we are were redirected. Let me refresh this page. We may need to refresh it to get the default .NET content. Perfect, so now, now we have the default content. We have a brand new, fresh website installed under GoDaddy. I'm just gonna check if www is also working fine here. Should be, okay, it's coming up. So everything seems to be fine. I'm gonna try to log into the backend by using the host account that I have created. 
let's give it a shot. As you can see, performance is not that great, but uh, let's keep going. So, host. Let's log in. And here we have the backend. Let's go to host, host settings. Let's have a look at the version of .NUC, which should be okay, should be 562. Well, let's have a quick check there. 562, perfect. Now, two additional things that I would like to mention before we, we close the automated installation of .NUC with GoDaddy. First one is that if uh, the .NUC is running out of this folder. So if I take this domain, this URL, and go to another tab and type in without the subfolder, here's what will come up. It will come up the default standard GoDaddy under construction page. We don't want that. We want the, the main domain to automatically redirect to the subfolder, to the folder that is called DNN. So it should come automatically to DNN. To do that, we have to do something very, very simple. We have to add an, a, a redirect from the root to the folder. And we can do that by using an HTML file with a redirect clause, actually with a refresh uh, meta, meta tag. So this is how it could look like. See, we have a, a very simple HTML file and we have a meta tag. This is the most important thing within this file, which says refresh the content as soon as the, as the file is loaded and redirect to this URL. And the URL is very simple. It's our domain slash uh, DNN. In our case, it's called DNN because that's the folder that we have installed .NET took. What we have to do is very simple. We have to upload this file to the root folder of our website. We can do that uh, by using FTP or, or I think that we can do that under the host control panel as well. So let's go to my account. Let's give it a try first under my account. And then I'm going to go to web hosting to launch the control center for my domain, for my new site. Now I'm going to FTP file manager. You can find that the top left corner. Okay, so this is the web based file manager. I'm, I'm in the root folder of the site. As you can see, here's my folder and here's the welcome that is the, the default Google, uh, GoDaddy under construction page. I'm going to click on upload and I'm going to select the file. So I'm going to click on browse. Here's what I have. I'm going, I have that, I have this text file already saved, which I'm calling it index.html. And this is the content. I'm going to provide that within the video post as well. And again, most important thing is the URL redirect. I'm going to select the file index.html. I'm going to click on open. And okay, if I upload, I selected to upload. I'm going to click upload. Should take a second. Okay, perfect. It should now be in my host, in my FTP view. So it's right here, index.html. Let's see if that was enough to make the redirection. To try that, I'm going to copy the, the domain. I'm going to open another tab. I'm going to paste it and I'm going to give it a shot. It did not work. Okay, I'm going to just refresh once again. Let's see, it's showing optional text here. We don't want to show that message. So I'm going to remove that message from here. Optional text. This is not necessary. I don't want this message there. I'm going to hit save here again. And I'm going to re-upload 
this file once again. So the redirection worked fine, as you can see. I just want to change and to avoid this text showing up. I'm going to upload again. I'm going to click Browse, Upload New File, click Overwrite File. It's validating the file. I'm going to click Upload again. Should be a second. Upload is done. If now I will try that again, no message anymore. It's loading in its redirecting. So we are able to put the index.html file that uh, will do the redirection from the main domain to the subfolder. So it does a redir uh, an automated redirection there. Now that's one one last point that I wanted to mention. Now the second last point, and that's the final one. It's really about the robots text. Here's the thing: we have a brand new site with the standard .dot uh, content. It's not developed yet, so you may want to avoid Google and other search engines out there from indexing your site. Your site is not ready yet. Your site is still under development. So. If you want to avoid, if you want to try to avoid, because this is not really 100% uh, guarantee, but if you want to try to avoid that your site gets indexed by Google and other search engines, you may want to use the robots.txt within the root folder of your website. And you may want to set it up like this. This is basically saying that disallow all agents from all folders within this domain, within your website. So again, this is an attempt to avoid that Google index your site before it's ready to go uh, to go uh, showtime. So let's do another up upload. We're gonna go to the file manager. We're gonna hit, again, it has to be in the root folder. We're gonna go to upload. Actually, upload was already expanded. So it browse. Here's the robots text. I'm gonna click on open. It has to be in the root folder again, root folder of the site. It's uploaded. I'm gonna click upload. Wait a second. This should refresh in a bit. So we have robots here. We have the index that redirects. And that's pretty much it. And I guess one true last thing. Usually people has problems with dot .tattoo can go daddy because uh, because of permission access, permission permissions that are not set up properly. Just to give it a try and see if things are permission is working fine within dot, this dot .tattoo automated installation. Let's try two quick things. The first one is let's go under host host settings and let's restart the site. When when we try to, when we click restart the site, what happens is that dot that uh, makes a small change to the web config, and that change is only possible if the site has the appropriate access. So let's click on restart application and see if uh, if we don't have if we don't get any message saying that there's no access to web config. No, we didn't get that. Everything was refreshed well. The second last thing that I want to try is I want to try to install a module and see if it works fine. So to do that, we have to go to host, module definitions. And again, I'm trying to install a module because a module will also require right access to the .tattoo folder. And if a module can be installed correctly, it's because permission is pretty much okay within the site. And I just want to, to kind of show that to prove that. So let's click on install module. Let's browse. Here is the module. I just chose the feedback module, the open free one. Click next. Okay, let's click next. See here, if we are already able to see this message, it's because the module was uploaded correctly. But let's go until the end. So let's click next again. And then finally, let's next again. Accept license and click next.
Okay, everything seems to be okay at this point. Let's click return. Okay, so we are back and uh, let's see if the feedback module was added. Okay, so here's the feedback module, it's installed. So I can pretty much guarantee that at this point, permission and access is pretty much okay within our new site. And again, is that the ideal setup? I personally don't think it is because it's putting this little bloody uh, folder here in the URL and I don't like that. But this is the, how you can go about using the, the most affordable hosting plan in GoDaddy and using the automated tools to install .NET Duke. Now, this was the, the first set of videos. I want to explore a little bit further and go into how we can install .NET Nuke manually in the root folder of GoDaddy. But this is not for now, this is for the next video. So again, to finalize, this was uh, an overview of how you can install .NET Nuke on GoDaddy using the automated install provided by GoDaddy. Thank you very much and bye for now.